There's no way I can go my first time at Huntsville Ham Fest and not see good old Bob. What's up, Bob? Hey, everybody. How you doing? And look, I still got my R-Finder B1, my daily carry here. Nice. Bob's like, you still got that? Yep, still works great. And I see, you know, Jason, everybody running around with one. But what I haven't seen is, I haven't even seen the first version of the tablet, but it looks like we got a new one, Bob. And I got to see because everybody's asked me about it. And I don't know. This is actually my, my fourth tablet uh, that I've produced. And it's an interesting one. Uh, it's 10 inch and uh, has all the, all the same kind of guts as a, as a B1, so it operates just like a B1. So it's a B1, it does do cellular. It's got the same platform as a B1 so inside of it, same hardware, so it's, it's got the same uh, system board, uh, RF module. So so tell me this, this is what I'm interested in, I'll ask him interested is this, will this do cellular? Yeah, of course. So, so basically it's a tablet version with DMR and analog of your B1. That's correct. Okay. It'll, it'll make a phone call. It's a full-blown cell phone. So why would you want something like that in a bigger form if, it, I mean, I, you wouldn't use that as a phone all the time. What do you do? Would you put it in your vehicle on a display, like a like a um, seat mount yes. thing to hold it, exactly. and then you could use it as a phone and I as a radio? Use, I actually, in, in my uh, OJ Bronco, I have... Uh, you still those, got that thing? I have. Well, I have, but I just upgraded it to a... Uh, Last two months, I worked on changing the motor to a 4BT Cummins. Wow! So that, that's a fun drive. So yeah, no, seriously, um, I, I, I put in a uh, from Lido mounts. They have the articulated seat, you know, seat bolt. Right. The elbow. Yes. Not the soft one. The soft ones, you know. It won't hold it with the oh, enough weight. Right. Around. Right. But the hard one works great, and I have this mounted to my right in the OJ, and that's my. Uh, it's really my entertainment center. My, yeah. My room. Well, I like the size of the thing. And, and yeah. does that come in different colors? I uh, know. It just comes in military Okay, so sh show, show me around it real quick on something that you so, think would be interesting to see. So it's the same thing as a, a B1, but it has um, a little surprise in it. Ooh, it what is an, that? It has an embedded RTL SDR. No way. Okay. Yeah, it's embedded, yeah. So, uh, see, there's no dongle hanging out right. this thing. It's actually embedded in the device. So any of the RTL SDR software, it will work with. Nice. So this ant this antenna port is for the RTL, and I just have a two meter four forty antenna okay. on right now. But you can put whatever antenna. So on. you can go all the way up to like what two gigahertz on an RTL? Yeah, SDR. about two gigahertz. Wow. Yeah. So it's a built-in scanner as well. I would SDR. Pull, it not, will not scan. Not scan, but but basically a. a um, a general coverage receiver. There you go. General coverage receiver. Yep. That's better. Better word for it, right? Yep. And uh, this particular app, there's other apps, but this app has, you know, you know, the usual analog. Wow. You can do upper side and lower side on it as well. So now you could use this to monitor HF on that thing if you had the appropriate antenna up here. That's correct. And use it also as a phone and also as a tablet and also as a DMR or analog radio. Yep. And if you have it in your car, you can use it as your media center, your your. Uh, you're, uh, Bigger than my little screen on my big diesel. Yeah, you can run Google Maps on it. Wow. Know, whatever. It'll, run, it'll do everything. Huh? You can do FT8. It'll probably do FT8, I think. I've never tried it. Don't say that because you're, you're going to be, everyone will have one if you say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, hold on. You, 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 hold on. Everybody wants to do FT8 these days. You Can Can you do FT8 on an Android? Yeah, you can do FT8. Then it'll do FT8. Wow. I mean, obviously, you'll need a, a transceiver next yeah. to it to do it. Yeah. We'll do that kind of so Bob, that is pretty interesting. Is there anything new? Uh, well, first of all, what is when's that going to be out? What's the price tag on it? Uh, you don't have to say if you don't want. If it's not think, done yet, I think it's going to be thirteen ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Um, Five watts, four watts. It's it, it's uh, well, we say four watts, right. but you, you like a B one. Yeah. Okay. You, you'd be surprised if you can get you can get some up around five. Okay. Um, and uh, what else? That's, uh, that's it. It'll do just about Is it out already, or when's it coming out? Uh, we actually just, they literally just came out of um, production last night. Okay. Last night, our time. So this is the only one you're going to see around is that one? This is the only prototype in the, in, in the United States. Right, gotcha. So. That's the cool thing about being at shows like this. I get to see the only in here. Yeah. I touched the only prototype yeah. there is. So This is another one here. This is kind of cool. Um, what is this? I don't know if you can focus in on this. Can you see what that says right here? Hold on. First net, it's AT and T, isn't it? Yeah. So this is actually a uh, um, our first foray into, into a first net compatible device. So you mean my, you mean my? That's an upgraded version of the B one that will do first net. It'll do first net, right? So this isn't available yet. This is the um, 
There's only two prototypes of these in the States. Nice. Um, and uh, But we're working on this. And um, uh, so eventually we'll have full-blown band, uh, a device with full-blown band 14 for first responders. Uh, nice. Along with a, a professional version of our finder. Remember, remember you first came out with the M1 and I thought that was hot and you thought that was hot and you said one day it's going to evolve. Look where Bob has become with the B1. That's still my daily carry. Uh, Figure I figure about a year out we're going to have a follow on to the M1. It's going to be called the M5. We're actually working on it right now. Are, here's a good question. Are you ever going to have something that does 220? A lot of people no, ask that question. Maybe, no, maybe, no. Tri-band. No, it'll actually be more like very broad band between two meters and nine hundred. Transmit. Yes. You mean that you'll have like. wow. Now that would be interesting. It's gonna take me two years. We're in the middle of developing the module for it. So Well when you're ready Bob, you just make sure you get one of those to me because I will trade in my B one. You're gonna get one. <laughs> I know you're gonna get one. Whatever. Well, It'll be fun. Well everybody uh, at Gigaparts here Everybody is seeing some of the latest and greatest, and that's the cool thing about coming here. Yes, yeah, so I was very honored to be asked to uh, be in the Gator Points booth. Yes, so, definitely. Sure. Thank you for your time, Bob. I appreciate it. Everybody, the Thank links you. are in the description. If you're looking at buying one of these like the B1 I have, remember, if you're not familiar, there is no code plugs. You don't program. In fact, I came to Huntsville and didn't even know what the repeaters were, and boom, they're right there by GPS. Right there. <laughs> you, you tap on it, and there you are. You can talk on a repeater that's near you for the Huntsville Ham Fest without even needing to have a code plug or any programming at all. That's the idea behind the R Finder devices. No code plug, and everything uh, is, is always updated, and Bob is on Facebook, and, and Bob, like, himself, handles any kind of concerns like hey how do i update this bob's right there to do it all right okay. hold on i got something to show you oh boy we got a new feature here and i got one more question for you when we're done with this yeah go ahead you just reminded me what's the question how do i use that bottom button for dmr over ip is that possible no 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 that's just for network like echo link no, and actually i was going to talk about that right now this is the prototype for um dmr over ip so um this device um, with actually any B1, quite frankly, would do this um, back to day one. Um, uh, what we've done is we've added the ability to, uh, for this device to talk directly to Brandmeister, and we're working on other networks like TGIF, and it's literally a one-button press. All right, so anyway, so on, on, on this, this, we're on beta 4.9 right now, and if we look here, we're receiving um, talk group 91 on this frequency. Let's say I couldn't get to the repeater anymore and I wanted sure. to switch over to IP. Right. I don't need a hotspot to do it. I just press the, the IP button. Wow. And it switches over to IP mode. So as soon as we start seeing some traffic in a moment, it'll be coming actually in over Nice. LTE. So if I didn't bring my hotspot and yeah. I don't have a, a um, even if I have a hotspot without a data connection or I don't have a range of the repeater, I can still get on DMR over IP. That's correct. Now that is amazing. Yeah, that, so, that's what I want to do. So like right now, like we're seeing occasional, you know, people are ka-chunking right now. I don't know. Sure. All, Everybody's on HamFest, man. Oh, is that what it Nobody's is? Nobody's on DMR right now. They're all HamFest. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so you see now, this actually, this reception that just came in was over LTE. And so that's you, blue down here. Is that an yeah, indicator that, means, that you're yeah, on? The, yeah. Okay. So the power button going blue and the IP on means you're on IP. Right. You're no longer using RF. Wow. And when you asked earlier, can I use the bottom button for um, for DMR over IP, we switched the top button. Like right. The top button now, when I transmit, it, you know, it's going to be going out over IP. Right. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. You can still use the bottom button for network, like network, uh, uh, TeamSpeak, or uh, exactly. Echolink, uh, IRN, Zello, whatever. Correct. Okay. Well, that, that's, that was the answer that I wanted. So you are going to have that feature in, in a coming release where then yeah, I can start using DMR without being anywhere near a repeater or a hotspot. You know, anybody that has one of these now and is on the Facebook group is entitled to uh, have this beta. Oh, bam. Looks like I'm getting a beta, guys, because I have a B1. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There'll be a video on that when I play with that, guys. You can check it out on my channel when you see DMR over IP on the B1 when I get home. Um, yeah, you'll see uh, how that works. I'll do some tests uh, with the guys locally in the talk group. 
that'll be fun. That might mean, mean I'm on DMR just every day. Remember, just remember, it's a beta, okay? It's oh, I know. It's always it. happens. Yeah, but you update these things all the time, Bob. Yeah, you know. When you put out betas, and then it's like, okay, we're tweaking this, we're tweaking that, and, and Bob makes it. He's not just sending it out and saying deal with it. He's fixing it. We're so. actually in the middle of creating a multi-receive, so it's kind of like promiscuous. So you can put in up to eight groups that you're going to receive on IP. Right. And then when you hit the switch button, it'll change the receiver and transmit over to that, to that group only. Nice. So yeah, so again, okay. no code plugs to do that kind of stuff. Right. We don't cool. need no stinking. We code don't need plugs. no stinking code plugs. Code plugs are for the for the, the yeah. birds. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I appreciate your time, buddy. Good seeing you again. Good seeing everybody. Well, y'all.